Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with The Art of Erica Morini, a 13-disc Deutsche Grammophone retrospective set of one of the great violinists of the 20th century. No, no doubt about it, but you know, there were so many. There were so many wonderful, talented violinists of the 20th century. You know, as they say in the biz, actually, you know, talent isn't rare. Intelligence is, right? Well, she had talent and intelligence. She was a child prodigy. She came from a Jewish family. She wound up fleeing Austria in 1938. She was Austrian and settling in the USA. She gave her last performance in 1975. She died in 1995 at the age of 91. Uh, she was around. Um, nowadays, she's practically forgotten, and it's terrible because along with, you know, Jeanette Neveu and, 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 you know, a few others, you know, she was one of the great lady violinists. Although she said, I don't want to be known as a lady violinist. I want to be known as a violinist. The fact that I'm female has nothing to do with it. And she's right. She actually inherited Maud Powell's violin which is quite something, because Maud Powell was an amazing violinist, if you listen to those old recordings. Now, these are all uh, recordings from the 1950s and 60s, mostly in stereo. She was very well known as a concerto soloist, but a lot of her concerto recordings are not here. They were on other labels. They should do things with her, too, um, to the extent that they can, although she had some uh, amazing stuff, and there's live things flying around and all kinds of stuff. I'm going to tell you what's in here. Um, one of the things that I think it's important to remember about some of these, you know, names that we don't, you know, pay any attention to anymore, is that they, they really, really were fine, fine artists. They may not have had the biggest personalities. They may have been because they were female, they were neglected or ignored. You know, she made a wonderful recording. It's on here of the Glazunov Concerto. Then Heifetz did his and everybody ignored hers. Well, she's very, very good. So, you know, it's just not fair, especially since she had Fritschoy as her accompanist. So that's pretty, pretty, pretty darn cool. Let's go through these 13 discs. And I just, you know, I, there's got to be a limit, I understand, to how many boxes of great this, great pianists, great violinists, great serusophonists, you know, great, you know, left-handed sewer flute flautists, you know, you can get. So I understand, I get it. But she was, she was wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Anyway, let's see what we have here. Uh, Tchaikovsky, Violin Concerto. She played the crap out of the Tchaikovsky with Arthur Rodzinski and the Royal Phil. It's in stereo, a couple with the Brahms Concerto, which I love because it has a 20-minute first movement. Yeah, I mean, she was always, she didn't have a huge tone, but she had a really beautiful tone. Maybe it was the Viennese thing, a seductive tone, but also um, a, a, an impulsive approach to music making that gave a crackle of excitement to almost everything that she did. She is, there's a live recording of her doing the Tchaikovsky with Fritschoy on Audita, which is just marvelous. She just rips into it like a demon. Here, she's a little more reserved, but it's still pretty amazing. Um, it really is, so I don't complain. Um, and in that one, the live one, she takes off so quickly in the finale that it takes a minute before Fritschoy and the orchestra catch up, but they do. And that's what matters. Then we've got the Brook and the Glazunov Concerti with Free Choi um, in Berlin Radio. These are this is stereo from 58. It's beautifully sounding. Mozart's Fourth Concerto um, with the Joachim Cadenza, if you care. And Bach's First Violin Concerto. This is interesting. This is with Igor Kipnis Harpsichord, the Princeton Chamber Orchestra under Nicholas Harsanyi. Um, that's a little bit unusual. And then we've got, let's see, what was, what was that? It was a Westminster recording, I think. Was it? No, or was it a DG? No, it was a DG recording in stereo from New York in 1965. So there you go. Then we've got Mozart's fifth concerto with the Bach second. This is with Albert Fuller, harpsichord, Musica Eterna Orchestra under Frederick Waldman from New York, 1962. Then you've got a couple string quartets. Beethoven's C minor, the opus 18, number four, and two versions of the Mozart Prussian number no. three, Herschel 590, one in mono, one in stereo. And her uh, her other, like, quartet partners, Felix Gallimere, whoa, baby, violin two, Walter Trampler, viola, whoa, baby, Laszlo Varga, cello, baby, whoa, pretty cool. I mean, really, really cool. Then we've got, let's see, Brahms, violin concerto number two. 
um, which is just delicious. And violin, uh, violin sonata, pardon me, number two. He didn't write a second violin concerto. The second and third violin sonata is with Leon Palmer's. That's Mono in Westminster. Then you've got a really good Franck sonata with the Mozart violin sonata in E major, Kershaw 481, with Firkuzny, or Firkuzny, who's just a wonderful pianist. These are lovely. And there's another Firkuzny, another Mozart violin sonata in C major, Kershaw 296, and Beethoven's third in E flat major, Opus 12, number three. Also with Firkuzny, then two more Beethovens with Firkuzny, and he was known as a Beethoven guy. So these are these are wonderful performances. You've got the Spring Sonata and number seven in C minor, and you've got let's see number eight in G major and the Brahms Violin Sonata number three. These are all in stereo, all with Firkuzny, and then we got some Baroque stuff: a Vivaldi Sonata, Tartini, you know, Didone Abandonata Sonata, um, some Pergolesi, Nardini. Um, and the Devil's Trill Sonata, and the variations on a theme by Corelli. This is all Tartini, and another Didone Abandonata. These are mono Westminster things. And then there's a disc of like the usual. <laughs> you know, this is on Westminster too with Leon Palmer's, you know, the, the, the Chaminade Serenade Espanol, and Mozart's Minuet in D major, and Benj Benjamin Goddard, and, and some interesting things actually. Um, Charles Gounod, Maria Teresa von Paradis Sicilienne, arranged by Samuel Dushkin. I mean, you know, the Tchaikovsky Neapolitan song, the Gluck Melody from Orfeo and Eurydice, with uh, Fritz Kreisler stuff, three or four Fritz, 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 Fritz Kreisler things, the Schubert Ave Maria, and that's it. That's Erika Morini. Violin fans will need no urging from me. It's lovely that this is available. Um, she deserves it. She was just a fine, fine artist really first class in everything that she did. And so um, I'm happy to recommend it to violin fanciers. Um, others, I mean, it's a collector's item. You know whether you need it or you don't. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.